In 2016, Heather Hope was driving home with her 16-month-old daughter, Anastasia, when another vehicle hit and flipped her car. Heather was killed, but her baby, who was strapped in a rear-facing car seat like this one, survived with minor injuries. Heather's family said she'd been very careful to pick out a safe seat. I paid off, and I am so thankful, and I know she would be so happy knowing that her daughter is still here with us. Studies show rear-facing seats can be highly effective in front and side collisions. But researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center wanted to see how they perform in rear accidents when the child is facing the impact of the crash. We wanted to just kind of run this test and see what happened with the crash test dummies. Study author Julie Mansfield conducted tests on multiple rear-facing seats. All were effective at absorbing the force of the crash and protecting the child. Those crash forces are going to be transferred from the shell of the car seat into the vehicle seat and into the frame of the vehicle. And that keeps the crash energy away from the occupant himself. The American Academy of Pediatrics says parents should keep their toddlers in rear-facing seats until they are two years old or when they reach the maximum height and weight. The rear-facing seat does a really good job of keeping the head, neck, and spine aligned and supported. And that can save a child's life. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York.